deadlock at the UN. Russia is still vehemently opposed to the latest plan, one in effect drawn up by the Arab League. One of its principal architects, the Prime Minister of Qatar, the small Gulf state that's been among those leading the condemnation of the Assad regime, a position that led to this sarcastic attack from the Syrian ambassador. Is Qatar a member of NATO or of the Arab League? Just over a year ago, Qatar was one of Syria's best friends. The Gulf nation's emir, Sheikh Hamad bin Khalifa Al Thani, was welcomed warmly in Damascus, where his country had invested billions of US dollars. Qatar, with the United Arab Emirates, was one of the main backers of Libya's opposition fighters, providing money and weapons that, after six months of battles, brought down the Gaddafi regime. One analyst believes they'll do the same again now in Syria, and he says that's a great mistake. Stay away from uh, America agenda, the American agenda, because this is, will be a self-defeating. Stay away from the, 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 the policy that bring wars, bring back the old Qatar. We like the old Qatar. That's what we want. The country has been involved in mediating conflicts in Sudan and in Lebanon. And now this small emirate, which hosts one of the US's most important air bases in the Middle East, may soon be the location of an office for the Taliban. I think that they want to be what the French call the interlocuteur valable, the absolutely invaluable middleman for everybody. Uh, between, uh, between the Taliban and the Americans, between Hamas and the Israelis, between America and its um, partners and enemies in the Middle East, um, between the Saudis and the rest of the Arab world. I think that that is the way in which power accrues to a nation, however tiny and minuscule Qatar may be. Qatar's energetic diplomacy and its vast energy wealth have certainly brought it influence, but its widening role brings greater scrutiny and in parts of the Arab world growing controversy. Even among its closest neighbours here in the Gulf, there are indications of an element of envy and mistrust. James Bay's Al Jazeera, Doha.